Now, I will just, these are the, the currently active groups. Yeah, in Afghanistan, ISIS is, is, is active, uh, which is ISIL slash Daesh is the same group. Al Khurasan is also active in Afghanistan. Uh, Al Qaeda, Taliban in Afghanistan are active. When you come to Pakistan, and again in Pakistan, it is the Pakistani Taliban, Al Qaeda, ISIS, Daesh, these are all active in Pakistan too. Uh, when you come to Iraq, in Iraq it is Jabhat al Fatah, Al Asham, which used to be Jabhat al Nasra, Al Qaeda, ISIS, ISIL, it's the same, these are all the same. Uh, when you come to Syria, in Syria it is Al Qaeda is active there, ISIS is active, Daesh is, is active there. When you come to Lebanon, it is Hezbollah. Of all these groups that you see, only one group is a Shia terrorist group, which is Hezbollah. Uh, Al Qaeda, and again, again in Egypt. When you come to Libya, it is Al-Qaeda active there. Uh, when you come to Yemen, it is Al-Qaeda active there. Uh, more than ISIL. Uh, in Nigeria, it is Boko Haram. Uh, in Somalia, it is Al-Shabaab. Uh, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, it is Hamas and Islamic Jihad. So these are the active uh, radical groups in many of these countries. Uh, I will just stop here uh, and let you ask me the questions. Yes. Can you help us put Al Nusra in context? Nusra, Al Nusra is a, used to be from the beginning affiliated with Al Qaeda. Now, sometimes what happened? These groups are not very ideological. They do not have a platform. Sometimes a leader will come there who comes from a different ethnic group or from a different tribe. They just split. So this splitting comes to each one of these groups. So Al Nusra at the beginning was very much pro Al Qaeda, and finally they severed their relationship. Some of them did, some of them did not. Uh, it depends on many of these groups. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned that all these groups that you see here, the terrorist groups, are the radical groups, are the extremist groups, which are using violence for political and economic purposes. None of them are supported by the governments of Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait. Only two groups are some have a state sponsor. One is the Hezbollah which is supported by the Iranian government. They are supporting them in Lebanon, they are supporting them in Bahrain, they are supporting Hezbollah in, 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 in Syria. Uh, and also Hezbollah is very much active in Iraq too. And the Iranian generals are advising the Shias in Iraq and Syria. So they have state-sponsored, state, at the state level, Hezbollah is supported by Iran. And another group which is Taliban in Afghanistan. Taliban are supported by the Pakistani, ISI and the military. So these two groups, Taliban, have a state sponsor, and Hezbollah has a state sponsor. All other groups, whether it's ISIL or ISIS and uh, Islamic Jihad, and these are not supported by the states. They are supported by individual donors. Uh, there are there are sympathy for them. The states are very much against that. And you may ask me that why states are not supporting? Because the states in many of these Arab countries, they are they are autocratic regimes. They are not elected by the people. So they are very much afraid, and these groups, as a matter of fact, Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda first attack was not on the United States. It came very late. Al-Qaeda first attack was in, in, in Pakistan, in, in, in the Khobar Tower inside Saudi Arabia. So many of these terrorist groups have, they, and by the way, and you, you look at the statistics, the victims of these groups are, very few of them are outsiders. Uh, the the last, largest one was the, the Al-Qaeda attack on the New York and the rest of them, literally hundreds and thousands of Muslims are being killed each day by these groups. Boko Haram, for example, it is active in today's Nigeria. Uh, it's, it's a, the, the casualties of the, of the Boko Haram is much more than many other groups uh, when you calculate that. Uh, Al-Shabaab, for example, in, in, this is in, in, in Somalia. So their victims are not uh, Christians or Jews or Muslims or atheists or whatever. Uh, they perpetrate these against, against the Muslims. Then there is this Al Khurasan. Khurasan is a very old name of Eastern, um, Eastern Iran and Afghanistan. This was used to be called by historians Khurasan. So this group is very active, uh, but they are still in, they are very active in Afghanistan and Pakistan, the border areas between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Are they Shi'i or Sunni? Sunni, yeah. As, as, as I mentioned, except Hezbollah, all other of these terrorist groups are, 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 are because Sunnis are the majority. 
سبور هاي تس تس بقول له هيك تس هيك ماتيار بقول بدين هيك ماتيار إيران كيف هم opportunistically إيران is sometimes using people to their own advantage sometimes إيران gives weapons and explosives to the Taliban too it's not because they like Taliban it's a Sunni extremist group they want them to harm Americans in Afghanistan they give the, the, those explosives and Americans have found that Hamas yeah, Hamas and other sometimes he, they do they do the Sunni groups when it is working at the advantage of the Iranian foreign policy. And the Iranian foreign policy is supporting sometimes the Sunni and other groups, they're supporting it very selectively. So who do their, what, what they want, uh, to harm Americans and to harm uh, Israelis. So Iran plays a, a, a kind of dangerous game. And by the way, same Pakistan is doing the same kind of thing. Pakistan is also a supporter of one of the terror, two terrorist groups. Uh, one is this, uh, one, this is which is Afghan Taliban. By the way, keep in mind there are two groups of Taliban. One is the Afghan Taliban, one is the Pakistani Taliban. The Pakistani Taliban is in war with the Pakistani government. But the Afghan Taliban is very much submissive to the ISI of Pakistan. So sometimes these things are not very black and white that we look from outside. And sometimes these policy makers have difficulties really to, to, to sort out that who is who, who is supporting whom how they are supported, why Iran is supporting like Islamic Jihad and Hamas, in, 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 which is a Sunni uh, extremist groups. And the roots of some of these things we all find uh, in the past. As I mentioned, whether it's a state-sponsored terrorism in the Middle East, or whether it's a group-sponsored terrorism, or whether they're just wearing one of the Wests full of dynamites and exploding, that, that's an individual. Uh, in the United States, for example, which I have this well, Al-Qaeda is a group. Some of these inspired by those groups are the, the individual. By the way, we should keep in mind, World War I started with one terrorist act. I mean, triggered. Yeah, the, this, this Serbian ter uh, terrorist, nationalist, killed Archduke Ferdinand, Prince Ferdinand and his wife, Sophie, and it triggered really the World War I. So sometimes a, an individual and a group can, can trigger uh, very big things.